patients don't really realize what they're missing out on and what clarity could be. So one of the first times that I fit somebody into a toric lens was somebody who had astigmatism, but I've been walking through life in a spherical equivalent lens, and when they first tried on that toric lens, it made all the difference. I personally have always worn spherical equivalent lenses, and so the first time I tried a toric lens was actually a special, uh, it's a custom soft lens because, you know, my soul was so low. And so I had always thought, well, you know, this is not really something that's necessary. It's just maybe something for people that are maybe persnickety or just like really particular. But when I was actually fitted with the lenses myself and just seeing the difference that that made, I didn't really think about spherical equivalents the same. Patients are happy to have tried something that just makes their vision just, a, you know, sometimes a little bit sharper, sometimes a lot sharper, but definitely helps open up their world a lot. Oftentimes when somebody's complaining that their vision's not as clear, in their contacts as it is in their glasses. It's usually because they're in a spherical lens when they should be in a toric and their astigmatism is corrected in their glasses and I explain that to them. Patients that do have some astigmatism who have never worn toric lenses before, I always want to give them that chance. As a practitioner, it's really my job to help them understand what their vision's about, what astigmatism actually is and how it affects their vision. And once they understand that and once they see what the difference that is, with the astigmatism contact lens, I think they really notice a difference. Either they've been told that they that they don't, there's no contact lens options for them, or that they just, for whatever reason, thought that there were no contact lens options because they were told they had astigmatism. The most common thing that patients who are considering going to a toric lenses tell me is that I've heard that they're not comfortable. But I usually talk to them and tell them it's it's a lot like when you very the first time you started wearing contacts. You know, it feels like maybe you got a hair in your eye for the first couple days and eventually you just get used to it. The first time when sometimes patients put on contact lenses that are toric, they really notice that difference. And it's not just the eye chart. I like to take the patients out of the room and have them look around and look outside the window and look at little details and contrast. And when they see that and then I show them over the contact lenses what without astigmatism would look like, they really appreciate that difference. The best reaction, and I've been fortunate enough to have this a few times, is wow. Like, wow, I can see that. You know, I can see that that, that C on the chart is a C, not an O. It makes me feel awesome and it makes me want to keep encouraging patients who are in spherical or who don't wear contacts to try the toric lenses uh, to really get that experience because most of them don't believe that that's possible for them. It makes me feel amazing because you know, I'm helping these patients and it's something that they weren't aware of that was possible for them. For me, getting to that end solution for the patient is one of the most rewarding things about optometry. You know that you've actually gotten them to a point to where they're going to be satisfied with their vision, they're going to be able to meet their daily needs, and that's going to be an impact that they feel every single day that they're wearing their lenses. I think it's all about patient education. So if you're going to approach it by saying that these are contact lenses that are more expensive, as opposed to saying these are contact lenses that are going to provide you with the best vision, the best functionality, I think patients would react to it a different way. Well, I feel that cost is an important topic, and it's something that I think we should discuss with patients, but I personally try to not lead with that. I like to give that patient a first-hand experience of what the lenses are like, and then from there, they can make their own informed decision on whether it's worth the extra cost. Obviously, cost is an issue, but there are a lot of plans that, insurance plans that can help with that, and there are a lot of ways to kind of maneuver around that. But my goal is I'm trying to provide the best vision for them, rather than really focusing on the cost of it all. We're very open in our office about letting patients try uh, whatever you know they would like to as far as what we think would be the best option for their comfort, their vision, and their eye health. And patients are very receptive to the fact that we want them to have the best option for their eyes. And so they're always willing to try it. And most of the time when we're switching somebody out of a spherical into a toric, most of the time they're going to appreciate the improvement in vision. So they don't, they don't worry too much about the extra few bucks that they'll have to spend at the end of the year.